German potato salad or hot potato salad is nothing like the potato salad that you had at your family barbecue cookout. This potato salad recipe is made with a Dijon vinaigrette, served with bacon, onions, and delicious herbs, and you are gonna love it. What's up everyone, welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name's Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world and today we're traveling to Germany from our kitchen and making a German potato salad from the Swabia region. Now potato salad is different all across Germany but we are going to be heading south for a southern German potato salad recipe. So the first thing that you're gonna need is two pounds of golden potatoes and you have a couple different options for how you can cook them. I'm gonna use my Instant Pot because if you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, you'd know that I am obsessed with my Instant Pot. But if you don't wanna use your Instant Pot, you can also just use a pot on the stove. If you're using a pot on the stove, you can just fill a large pot with water, bring it to a boil, and boil the potatoes until they are fork tender. For the Instant Pot, we are gonna add the whole cleaned but unpeeled potatoes into the pot and fill the pot with six cups of water. You want the potatoes to be fully submerged in the water and then you're gonna put the lid on, turn the pressure valve to pressure, and then you're gonna cook the potatoes for six minutes on a high pressure and then allow for a six minute natural pressure release. After the six minute natural pressure release is up, then you're gonna manually release the rest of the pressure that's left in the pot. While the potatoes are cooking, you can also cook your bacon. So I have four slices of uh, bacon that I cut in half. I'm gonna set those in a pan on a medium high heat until the bacon gets nice and crispy. Our potatoes have finished cooking, so I released all the pressure and then I drained out the water and rinsed the potatoes until they were cool enough where I could touch them without burning my fingers. And now we're gonna peel them. I'm just gonna use my fingers to peel the entire peel off of the potato. The next thing that we're gonna do once the potatoes are peeled is cut them into bite-sized pieces. Each of the large potatoes, I'm gonna cut them in half. Then I'm gonna cut each of those halves in half again and then cut that into maybe about eighths or so and put them in my serving dish. You're also gonna need one sweet yellow onion. I'm going to cut my onion in half and then peel it and we'll cut it up into pretty small pieces. When the bacon is cooled a little bit, we're gonna chop that up and add it to the salad as well. I would like to mention that there are some mixed reviews about if bacon is normally added in the Swabia region. Some people say that they don't add it, but some people say that they do. Up to your preference, if you like bacon, you can put it in. If you don't like it, you don't have to. We're also gonna add about two tablespoons of chopped chives and two tablespoons of chopped parsley. Now the final thing that we need to put together is the dressing that's gonna go on the potato salad. This is a little bit different because in the northern part of Germany and most of the time here in America, we use a mayo-based sauce to go on our potato salad. However, in the southern portion of Germany, they do not use mayo-based sauce and instead we're using, it's kind of like a vinegar and mustard combination. It's really delicious and if you're like me and don't love like big glops of mayonnaise sitting next to your ribs from the barbecue cookout, then this is a really good non-mayo based potato salad recipe. So to get started with this, we have three quarters cup of beef broth, three tablespoons of sunflower oil, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, one half of a teaspoon of salt, and one eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. You can use a whisk to combine the dressing together or sometimes I just like to dump it all into a mason jar, put the lid on and shake it up and that works perfectly too. Now you can pour this, the dressing over the potato salad. I'm gonna start with about half, and normally I find that about half of the dressing is enough for the salad, but the reason why I had you make the entire portion is because I think that this dressing is delicious when made the night before and then served the next day. So what I like to do is put half the dressing on right now, toss the whole salad together, and make sure that the potatoes soak up all of the deliciousness, then you put it in the fridge, and then all of the flavors really blend together. But when you wake up in the morning and you open the container, all of the liquid from the dressing has been absorbed into the potatoes. So in order to have more dressing, you need the other half that we have here. I recently went to a German restaurant that had a version of this potato salad and it was amazing. But one thing I noticed was that it had a little bit more of a vinegar taste than my recipe here. So if you like a stronger vinegar taste, you can add more vinegar. If you don't love that as much like me, then you can use this recipe and it doesn't taste as vinegary as it does, um, like you can taste the mustard more in this recipe. You can enjoy this potato salad as is. You can serve it next to a German sausage or you can even serve it next to any of the meat from your family barbecue cookout. No matter how you cook it, I know that you're gonna enjoy it. If you want the written instructions for this recipe, you can find the link to the instructions in the description of this video. And don't forget to check out all of the other recipes that we have here on my YouTube channel because there's delicious recipes from all around the world. Don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week, you guys. Thanks for watching, bye.